The Luminous Red Model 1. Designed in Europe, this is a rather unique design panel and I'm going to be reviewing it in this video. Hey guys, Alex here from AlexFigures.com and yes, this is the Luminous Red Model 1. I hope, I, hope I'm saying that right. I've tripped up on a product uh, company names in the past so I do apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Anyway, yeah, this is the Model, model 1 uh, from a company that Hasn't been in the game for too long. I think they were founded in 2021. Um, I have been following their, their stuff on and off for a while now. Uh, so I'm excited to finally have this, this panel here and, and test it out. Um, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know I go rather deep into my testing. I, I, I play around with it. I use various meters such as my spectrometer here, sound meter, EMF meter, uh, crunch the numbers, share my thoughts, compare it to some other panels. I'm gonna do all of that stuff plus more in this video. So hang around and we'll get straight into it. So first things first, I always start with a bit of a background on the company. Luminos Red was founded by Thomas and Barbara. These guys are based in Austria. Uh, they've both got a passion for biohacking. Now they're both intelligent individuals as they are studying PhDs, Thomas in philosophy and Barbara in uh, burnout and engagement within a workplace. However, their main uh, drive is that health and wellness and, and, and biohacking and obviously now red light therapy having set up this company. So they're shipping these panels worldwide, even though they're based in Europe. Um, it costs $70 to get these shipped to your door, so not too bad. Like I said, they've got this Model 1 and they've got a larger Model 2. So they actually only have two, two products. Um, if you go to their website, you'll click uh, products, you'll see their Model 1, Model 2, and you can get larger packages, but they are they're bundles. So maybe a Model 2 and a Model 1, or, or two Model 2s, for instance. So this Model 1 has 120 LEDs, and the Model 2 has 240 LEDs. Now what's quite unique about their panels, other than the design and, and the visuals, uh, you'll see this black box at the top and then a nice little red line through here and then of course the white panel something we haven't seen before in any panels but this this top box here is what they call their brain now this is effectively the control panel of of the leds down here you'll get a little timer and some buttons and whatnot um if you get more panels then you just get the bottom panel and you connect it into this brain. So we're gonna look at that and how it works in a little bit more detail later in this video. But that is um, you know, one of their unique selling points. I, I see they've sort of mentioned that quite a lot on their website, that they have this brain box. Uh, it is quite interesting and um, yeah, like I said, it's a novel idea. Typically, the control panel is built into the, the panel itself. Now they have a really nice website. I'll put links to this panel and everything else I mentioned below, so check it out. Really good website, lots of great information over there. You can see they've done their research and um, I do recommend, you know, whether you're looking at these panels or not, heading over to their website and checking out some of the information on their blog and in their research section. They've done uh, a really good job of taking thousands of red light therapy studies and putting it into an easy to filter and easy to search. Um, database. Uh, it's, it's really neat. I actually spent a bit of time on there while I was doing some research for this video, looking up uh, a few studies and, and red light therapy benefits on, on various topics. So definitely check that out and well done to them guys. I'm sure that will attract them a lot of, lot of viewers and in turn sales. So check that out. Final thing I should quickly mention, if you head over to the website, you'll see that you can actually book a free call with the founders. It's a 20 minute call. Uh, I'm guessing they'll help you with any questions on red light therapy, maybe even biohacking as well uh, and in turn I'm sure they're hoping to sell you some product. Uh, it's quite a unique feature I don't know if that will be around forever I'm sure if their their volume and interest you know starts uh, going sky high they'll have to cut that but um, hey for the time being it's quite a quite a nice uh, freebie so jump over to the website and get on board that if you can. Okay so the Model 1 sells for $599 now they've given me a discount code the code is Alex A-L-E-X that will save you $30, so it brings the price down to $569. Like I mentioned earlier, shipping is $70 no matter where you are. Uh, $70 here to New Zealand or Australia, $70 to uh, the UK and also to America. Uh, I don't know if they do free shipping in Austria. This 
Um, this panel came direct from China, so I'm assuming they, they drop ship out of China for all their sales. Uh, $70, you know, freight prices over the last few years have been going up, so it's not too bad. Um, I am seeing a lot higher shipping prices, but of course, if you're competing with the American brands, uh, they often do free shipping in America. So for someone who's, you know, looking around that $500, $600 mark, maybe that extra $70 is, is gonna be a deal breaker, especially if you're in America. Otherwise, yeah, I don't think it's too bad. Now, this is what I'd call a tabletop panel. I mean, it's literally sitting here on a table. Uh, it's 120 LEDs, so it is quite large for that tabletop category. Typically, we were seeing 60 to maybe 100 LEDs, but I've done a couple of reviews now on tabletop panels that are larger than 100 LEDs. And the most recent one was the Red Rush 400, which had um, 133 LEDs. I'm going to get my hands on the Biomax 300, which is 100 LEDs. So there are some of those tabletop panels that are a little bit larger, but I don't, I don't find this to be too big. Uh, the Red Rush 400 was quite tall, and um, I thought you wouldn't want to go any bigger than this, but this is obviously a little bit wider and, and works well as a tabletop panel. It's 10 pounds heavy, 13 inches tall, and nine inches across. Now it also comes with a built-in stand. Uh, you could remove that if you wanted to. Uh, it's just got some screws on there. It is rather stiff like a previous video I've done. Um, it's, you know, kind of hard to move, but at the same time, you know it's going to be sturdy. It is holding up 10 pounds of weight. So once it's locked in place, you know, it's not going to be bouncing around, which is, which is good. Um, it's just a two hand sort of job to get it in place like so. It does support modular capability. So like I said, you can get two of these or the mod model two uh, and clip them together. <clears throat> there are the holes and, and, and all the plugs for all of that. Uh, when you do that, you would then somehow connect them all up with these holes and um, plugs and switches on the back. Uh, it all kind of looks a bit confusing for now, but typically when you have to do that, you get some really simple um, instructions on how to do it. Now the power cable goes in the bottom at the back. I like that it's on the back and not on the side, you know, sticking out ugly. And so that's a much better design. You do then have the master power switch here, which brings life to the unit. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the screen comes on here and, here and you can actually hear the fans working. I don't know if I really like that design as there's also a power button up here. Uh, I kind of wish that you just turn the master on and then you, there was no sound because you wouldn't just leave this hanging all the time because of the, the noises. So you're gonna have to switch it off at the back and on the front uh, when you're not using it. So yeah, anyway, one little nitpick there. Now it comes with a two year warranty standard, which is good, it's about Half of the course these days, though we're seeing um, more companies offering three and even five year warranties. Speaking of longer warranties though, when I was in the checkout screen, I always um, go through the whole process and there was the option to spend $60 extra and get a four year warranty on this panel. Uh, it's kind of unique. I haven't seen that before in the red light therapy space. I know you see it when you buy an appliance or a computer accessory, you know, you can pay for that extra warranty. Uh, I know here in New Zealand, we have a really good consumer guarantee law and um, typically those, you know, pay extra for a longer warranty things are a waste of money. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, if they're only offering, say, a one-year warranty and you pay 60 extra for a four-year, I'd be like, oh, it's a bit cheeky. But two-year out of the box is good enough, I believe. Um, so yeah, if you're worried about it, spend the extra money and get the four-year warranty. They also have a 30-day um, trial returns policy. So if you're not happy with it within 30 days, you just pay to send it back and you get your money back. And now in the checkout screen, you could also, um, extend that for $30 and get a 60 day trial period. That one, I thought, yeah, that's a bit, well, that's interesting because, um, you know, well, I'd be curious to see if many people actually buy that because you've already got a 30 day period, you know, why, why do you want it? Why do you want 60, especially if it's costing you more? And then I think, well, if they're gonna do it for 60, they should just do it for 60 anyway. But now what comes with the Model 1? Well, there's a few accessories, uh, but before I get through them, Let's run through the manual and a few other bits and pieces. So I noticed on their website that they mention you get a one year worth of guidance when you get this, when you get the product, you get one year worth of one-on-one uh, -on -one guidance. So I'm guessing you can reach out to the owners and um, maybe get on a call and they can help you, you know, understand how to work it or 
problem solve, whatever it may be. And that lasts for a year. So, you know, that's, that's pretty good because if you're one of these people that really wants to get their money's worth, you might be on the, on the phone with them every month or so and, you know, eating up a lot of their time, which I'm sure they put a lot of value on their time. So again, maybe that's something that won't hang around for a while, but a lot of these newer red light therapy companies are doing it, Light Path LED, you know, you can get on the call with Scott and um, get on the phone with Scott and chat to him. So yeah, it's good that they're doing it especially while they're, they're growing and I think hey, if you're new to the to these products and you want to get on board um, you know make the most of it so that is a nice little um, add-on they also mentioned you get access to their VIP knowledge base uh, I went on there and had a look it's a bunch of videos frequently asked questions and stuff like that uh, it's nothing really like I, I didn't see it as a true VIP sort of upgrade or, or value add um, it's more just you know their knowledge base but hey that may be changing they may be upgrading that over time and who knows they may have like a private Facebook uh, community or something as well that I missed all right now back to what was in the box while well, we have uh, these pamphlets their quick start guide here so this is what I used uh, to get it all set up it's pretty self-explanatory you know connect it to the power play around with the switches on the back depending on how you're using it um, what to expect on your first session how to use it and just so rather basic but it's all you kind of need then there was also this little um, envelope here with a link to your multimedia user guide that's a link to the VIP page uh, a photo of the, the founders very cool. Now all this stuff is really cool. It's it's handy. It's printed on nice paper. Though I, I've said this before and I'll say it again, no doubt. I kind of wish there was just like a you know 10 page, 15 page manual, even if it's just printed on A4, you know, stapled in the corner. Um, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Like I'd love to hear your thoughts because I say this all the time. I personally hate having to go online to get a manual, especially when you're spending five, six hundred dollars on a product, right? All right, so it's time to look at power and performance. I'll be using my spectrometer for this. I'll also be doing the EMF and uh, sound readings. Real quick though, 120 LEDs using 660 and 850 nanometer light. So your, your traditional, your standard wavelengths. Um, no pulsing, uh, no multi-wave, obviously. Um, but they do have dual chip LEDs. Now it was a little bit, I was a little bit confused when I first started this. Actually, I'm gonna show you now. Um, so I'm gonna turn this on. So I turn it on there. You may not be able to see, but every second light is glowing red. So I'm assuming the other ones are near infrared. But when I was playing around with some of these switches on the back, um, which one was it? This one. Now they're all glowing red. Now, based on the quick start guides, these little switches I'm playing with are for um, when you have multiple panels. Um, so I don't, I don't quite know what's going on there. There we have them all going, but not too bright. There we have them all going in quite bright. There we have half of them going. It's, it's quite unusual. Anyway, I'm going to um, I'm going to play around and see what's going on with this, and I'll report back soon with my findings. Before I do that, I just want to do a real quick shout out to Performance Lab Energy. Now, this is a supplement with some magnesium, L-carnitine, RLA, CoQ10, PQQ, and a little bit of black pepper extract for absorption. It's designed to help the cells, your body, with energy production. It's not a, a caffeine, nootropic, you know, stimulant sort of supplement, which I personally aren't a big fan of, unless I, or at least on a day-to-day -day basis. This is something that you can and do, and I do, I mean, take on a day-to-day -day basis. So those ingredients in there, especially the CoQ10 and the PQQ, are helping uh, optimize and multiply mitochondria, which is the the power plants in a cell, uh, helps enhance cell ATP energy production, the fuel of the cell, um, helps with fat uh, metabolism, and just helps with all around energy and vitality. I take it every day. You should probably too if, you, if you're serious about your health. I'll put a link to it below so you can learn more. All right, back to the video. All right, so the results are all in and uh, I'm gonna run through them all with you now. The peak wavelength here was 665 and the peak near infrared was 853. So yeah, it is putting out your 660 and your 850 as, um, as marketed, which is good. Peak power, six inches in the middle. 
based on my spectrometer reading here, was 56 uh, milliwatts over centimeter squared. So that is a little bit lower. Uh, it's not a bad reading by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but we are seeing, you know, 60s and 70s and, and, and even higher. So it's, it's not low. Um, there's just better out there, I guess. <coughs> the average over nine areas was 43 milliwatts over centimeter squared. And the total power output, which is the, the average wattage based on the area was 22 watts. So this is a little bit uh, lower. I guess that's because of the slightly lower um, irradiance figure. Now with these numbers, I can do some value calculations. It worked out to be $4.74 uh, per LED. So that's how much you're paying per LED. And you're paying $25.80 for one watt of light. So to put that in perspective, um, the derma beam that I reviewed a few months ago was a $33 figure. Remember, the lower the better. Uh, the Red Rush 400 recently was 13, and the Huga Health um, tabletop panel was under 10, which was still surprises me how good value that panel was. So yeah, I mean it is a little bit more expensive from a power output point of view, but hey, it's not all about that. Speaking of which. I am going to be doing a big comparison series with all these tabletop panels um, later on this year. I, I, I want to get one or two more panels before I do the big comparison. So if you are keen to see how this panel goes and how it compares to others, um, and if you're in the market for a tabletop panel, be sure to subscribe um, because that will be, uh, it's going to be a neat series. Uh, I want to get about six or seven of these panels and we'll compare them across all sorts of metrics. So check that out, um, hit subscribe, and yeah, I'll tell you more about it in my monthly red light therapy news videos. Now one really good thing with this panel was the sound. It is a really nice whisper quiet um, 42 decibels, which is maybe the lowest I've tested across any panel. I'll have to check my notes, but it's definitely the lowest for a tabletop panel. Uh, it's, yeah, the, the fans are actually, they look a bit smaller than most of the fans in these panels. So um, typically the smaller fan is a little bit louder, but it's a really nice, you know, quiet fan noise. So if you're gonna be using this, you know, when you're on your desk or, or doing your makeup, uh, you definitely don't want something that puts out a lot of noise and, uh, and an irritating noise as well. So good job um, Model 1, good job Lun Luminos Red uh, for getting the, the fans nice and quiet there. Okay, so now I wanna talk to you about operation. Uh, I've had a good play with it now. I can, I can share my experiences and thoughts. So come in close here and we'll run through how it all works. So first things first, as I mentioned earlier, I have the cable um, in the back here that's switched on at the wall. Then I have this power button right here. So at the moment it's off. The two switches above it, um, I'm told based on the quick start guide to put them both on the two setting, which they are now. And it's important you do that and I'll explain why soon. Now I'm gonna turn this light on, it glows red and that enables the fan. And then the screen up here comes on. All right, now there's no light being emitted but the fans are going. And that's what I was talking about before. It's, I don't know why the fans have to come on straight away, but they do. When this comes on, hopefully you can see this, the, it defaults to 10 minutes. Underneath that, there are two green LEDs. One has a little R above it. The other one has N, N -R or NIR, uh, red and the infrared. Over here, you have three buttons, T, uh, your wavelength selector and a power button, which should really be a start button. Um, so T adds, time to the clock, all the way up to 20 minutes. R and NRI, your wavelength buttons here, alternate between red light only, near infrared only, or both. Okay, we're gonna leave it on both. And then of course the power button, which is your start button, well, starts it. Now, did you see that big flick before? I'll do it again, I'll turn it off. See how it flicks like that? I don't like that. I don't know why it does that. It kind of scares me. Every time it does it, you get this big flash. Um, I, I, hopefully they can fix that with future, um, future versions because it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Again, I'll turn it off. Turn it on. It, it does a big flick and then it eases into it. So, anyway, um, once you hit start there or, or the power button, uh, the timer starts and away you go. You can see here only every second LED is glowing red. These ones are glowing near infrared. But what's really, really unusual here, if I stop this and if I turn it to red light only 
and then hit start. They all glow red. Because remember, these are dual chip LEDs, so that means there's a 660 and an 850 chip in each, in each bulb here. So when it's just red, they all glow red. When it's just near infrared, they all glow near infrared. However, when it's red and near infrared, they alternate. Now, I, I don't know why they do that. It's kind of puzzling. I would have assumed that because there's a 660 and an 850 chip in each, that when both are going, you'd have all red and all near infrared. So obviously here, it's, it's dual chip, but they're not really utilizing dual chip, which is kind of strange. Um, because you'd get better light coverage and yeah, I mean, it just, I, I don't know. I can't explain that one. Hopefully they can uh, provide an answer and, and I'll post it in the comments below. But overall, overall I mean, it's, it works all right. It's just, you got to make sure it's set up properly because these switches on the back, if I play around with them, they do some funky things. So see if I put this top switch on this setting, it cuts the power in half. Um, if I put it on this one, they all go. Uh, before I had it, I was playing around and the near infrared just wouldn't even go. So it's super important that um, you read the manual and you get those back switches right and you don't play around with them because it can really mess things up. So overall, it's, look, it does everything you need to do, but it's definitely not the best control panel. I mean, the time is great, though it's very small. It could easily be a lot bigger. Um, I don't know why the fans have to run as soon as you turn the pow back power on. Um, this should really be a start button, not a power button. Uh, and yeah, the chip thing's quite unusual as well. All right, so that's a bit about operation. Uh, now, if you are gonna get another one of these later on or you get two in the same order, there are some extra uh, plugs on the back and you know they connect into the brain here. And um, I'm sure the manual will, will help explain all of that. Oh, one thing I uh, didn't finish covering earlier was the included accessories. So we're going to do that now. Uh, so I'll just quickly run through what was in the box. So we had these um, metal steel cables. So they can go on these holes on the top here. And you can then hang this panel from you know, a hook or, or a door or whatever you want. As I said earlier, that the stand at the back can be removed, just a few screws there. If you do decide to do that and hang it from a wall, then it does come with these rubber feet. Uh, you got some half inch ones and an inch size ones. So that is good that they've supplied that because yeah, if you want to hang it against a wall, there's exposed metal and stuff and it would scratch. So uh, it's good that I've included that. Uh, what else came with it? You also got these little uh, eye goggles, your standard sort of eye goggles. And that was everything. Okay, so how does this compare to other products? Well, first let's compare it to other products within the Luminos Red range. Now, there's only two models, the Model 1, which we have here, and the Model 2. The Model 2 uh, is bigger. It is 240 LEDs, so twice the count of LEDs as the Model 1, uh, and sells for $800. So it actually works out to be better value per, per LED or you know per, per unit. Um, but of course, it's a much larger panel. You're not going to be using it as a ta tabletop panel, and it doesn't come with this stand. Um, in fact, I don't think you can get any other stands. I had a look around on their website. There's no horizontal stands or you know wheel stands or anything like that. So I guess it's just the tabletop panel with this stand and then everything else you have to hang, I guess, with their range. That may change in the future, I'm not too sure, but that's based on the, the research I was doing then, I couldn't see any other stands. What about other companies? Juve have their 60 LED tabletop uh, panel. It is a thousand odd dollars. You pay more for shipping and taxes. It's quite expensive. Um, yeah, you pay a lot of money for theirs. They do, however, have pulsing, uh, 10 hertz pulse near infrared light, so that is a, a plus. Uh, if you really wanna go into pulsing panels and you don't wanna spend $1,000, Red Therapy have their Red Rush 400. That has 133 LEDs, so it's a few more LEDs than this. Um, it's $550 or 630 with a stand, so comparable, um, comparable pricing with, with the Model 1. Um, it's, yeah, the fact that it's got pulsing, you got four pulse wavelengths is quite a plus. 
and it also puts out a little bit more power than this one as well so definitely uh, consider that if you're in the market for a, for a tabletop panel of this size. Mito Red have their Mito Pro 300 which I'll be reviewing next month so be sure to hang around for that one. Uh, 60 LEDs, $250 comes with a stand so it's a lot smaller, half the size of this but half the price as well. They use multi-wave technology so you get four wavelengths instead of just your 660 and 850 so yeah it's quite a different panel in terms of size and um, price but it has some unique traits in there as well and then finally we have the platinum led bimax 600 this is 100 leds 530 dollars plus 100 dollars for their tabletop stand so it's similar price to this um, I haven't tested that yet, but if it's like all the other Biomaxes that I've tested, it'll be probably the most powerful panel out there. Um, we'll have great EMF readings and come in at a, a you know really good with some really good value metrics. So there are quite a few options in there. It really depends on what you're looking for, and I think for the tabletop market, the big thing is going to be stands and size. Uh, you know, like I, I actually like this size here as a tabletop um, stand. And, and, and panel. Um, some of them are quite tall, some of them are a little bit too small, some of them have bulky stands and that. So I think that may be more important than price or maybe more important than pulsing and, and whatnot. But anyway, of course you can use these on your body as well uh, or hang it or, or use it on your knee, whatever. Uh, they're not just for your, your face. Speaking of targeting your face, what's kind of interesting, I went over to the, their website, the Luminos Red website, and I will go to products and it's got their Model 1, their Model 2, their, their Model 2 Duo and all the different bundles you can get. And under each, underneath each one it had like, for, for instance this one, the Model 1, it had uh, great for sleep. Actually I'm going to check it. Yeah, under Model 1 it has sleep enhancement. Under Model 2 it says hormone balancing. Model 2 Plus was skin repair. Model 1 Plus 2 was stress relief. Now I, I saw that and I was like, oh. Are they different LEDs? Are there, are there different, you know, different things going on here? I thought, um, oh, I didn't know what to think. I just, I, 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 did, I was confused to be honest. So I did some digging and I thought, all right, well, do they use different wavelengths? But no, they're all the same thing. It's just, they've put that label on it. I'm not, I'm not too sure why they've done that because I'm sure a few people might get confused uh, or they may go, they may go into the website planning on getting a really big one but then see that they've marketed this as a sleep enhancer and be like, well, that's actually why I want it. And they might get this instead, but they're effectively, well, it's using the same technology. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so that brings me to the end of this review. What I want to go through is my, my summary, concluding thoughts. Um, here's where it's at. Great size, great design, great packaging. The packaging was awesome. One of the best um, unboxing experiences I've had in a long time, so that is cool. Uh, it looks good. I actually like it with the black, the red, and then the white. Um, good size, works and functions well as a tabletop panel. You know, you can be using your laptop and have this sitting here like so and, and, and angle it and, and hit the face and stuff. Really cool. Um, works well there. Power is a little bit on the lower side. It's I would never have said that like two years ago, but everyone else is bumping their power up and, and based on... Those figures, it's a little bit lower, but it's not lacking. You're still gonna get enough power to do the job, so there's no issues there. Uh, a little bit messy on the control panel slash plugs um, side of things. You know, if you look at something, say, the Biomax range with their touchscreen control panel, works really, really nice, easy to hook up multiple units. Um, it's kind of like foolproof. Uh, this here, you know, all those switches on the back, no labels, you have to check the book you could sort of get a bit confused and find out that some of the LEDs aren't working when they should. Control panel at the front does what it needs to do, but again, it could be better. Um, it's not it's not a deal breaker. You're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna not go buy it because of it, but I'm just saying there's better ones out there. That that big flicker on uh, when you start it up is, is annoying. See, that it's really weird. I don't know why it does that. Hopefully they'll fix that. Uh, it's good that it's modular design so you can add more of them, but at the same time you can use the stand or, or hang it from the hooks um, if you're only ever going to use the one. Doesn't come with a manual, but does come with a, a quick start guide, so that is good. Comes with a local plug as well. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, nice and quiet, which is a big plus, and that alone might be a selling point for some people. Price-wise, yeah, it's hard because there's a lot of variables and a lot of 
different factors here, but when we did some of those value metrics, it wasn't the best, uh, but there were worse and there were also better. Oh, one thing I, I need to really mention here is the owners, the founders, uh, Thomas and Barbara, are very, I can tell that they're very passionate, not only about red light therapy, I mean, you can go over to their website and see all the content on there, it's amazing, but I, I would say that they're willing to go above and beyond to help the customer. I mean, you see that with the free calls they're gonna do, you see that with the one-on-one -on -one guidance and stuff like that. So I think um, if you're someone that needs a little bit of, of support when it comes to using red light therapy, or um, you, know, you really like that uh, engagement you can get when you're buying a product and, and working with the, the, the staff, the owners, then yeah, Luminos Red is, is definitely a company you should check out. Because yeah, there's a lot of other companies out there that might have a really good product or really good value, but you know, like you might send an email request or a question, and you'll get an automated, oh, you know, your ticket number one two three, and we'll get back to you in the next 14 days, and then you get a stock standard response, and you're kind of like, oh. and then you come to people like me or a Facebook group, and and you reach out to those people for help, which is fine, but. I think with Luminos Red, like if you have a question about the product or um, about treatment or biohacking even, I think you'll get them, you know, they'll really reach out and, and help you out. Uh, and again, that may all change in the coming years as the company grows and they can't keep up, but at least for now, um, that's a big plus. And that might be worth, you know, like missing out on pulse wavelengths or a bit of a frustrating control panel, I'm not too sure. But hey, all I'm trying to do here is give you as much information and feedback and thoughts so you can make an informed decision. Um, at the end of the day, like I always say, these panels are all gonna work, right? Even if the power is a little bit lower or even if it doesn't have a certain wavelength, you're gonna get a, a good result from it because we know that about red light therapy. I've done enough talking. I need to go have a break and see my family and kids. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Any questions, leave them below. Remember, discount code Alex will save you $30 and helps me keep doing videos like this. Be sure to subscribe, check out my other videos, and I will see you in the not too distant future, I hope. Bye.